Hello guys, it's Hunter Knight with another video review, this time with the uh, Thundercats Classics, Jackalman by Mattel. Thanks for tuning in, let's take a look at the packaging for Jackalman. The Thundercats Classics figures come inside a black mailer box, in this case, since he's a bad guy, he comes with uh, serpents, his name on the front, uh, Castle Plundar on the sides, it's black here, and a graphic of Jackalman on the sides. Now Jackalman has the same design with the Sword of Omens on the front, side beyond side on the sides, Jackalman on the side, a different graphic for Jackalman on the left side, and a color illustration on the back with Castle Plundar, the Mumbra sigil here, and a bio, which you can pause and read right now. So now let's take him out of the package and find out what the fuzzy is all about. And there he is, Jackalman out of the package. Great figure, I gotta say, great figure, so let's take a closer look. The first thing that pops is how amazing that sculpture is, man, look at that, it's incredible. His eyes are glossy, you can see there, it gives her a more uh, realistic look, very, very, very accurate. Now, the majority of this figure is done in a Masters of Universe Classics book, which is, uh, everybody knows that, but the way it's done is so clever, so clever, it, only the horseman can come up with this. If you remove it, you're gonna see the Beastman bug underneath. This is, this is clever, man. This is clever design. This is like going to school with the horseman. Unlike the Filmation figures, the Thundercat ones are really well detailed. The paint is uh, uh, done in a much more careful way. There's some minor, you know, lacks of paint here and there, but that's not, not as bad as Evil Limb. Check the shoulder pad, it's done in a flat gray. The straps have this sort of... Um, leathery details and wrinkles to make it more realistic. The clasp on the center is well painted. The part on the fur, the fur is flat green, there is no... Uh, usually they, they do... I wish they had some dry brushing to make it more realistic, but hey, not, not, not too bad. Same with the belt, has some nice realistic leathery details all the way out. It's missing some paint here, but that's it's okay. This part of the arm is a brand new piece, it has hinged hands, and, you know, and they also rotate, same with this one. You can see also the details here, the leathery details from this sort of uh, arm guard. Very, very Craven-like. Now the legs have the same Masters of the Universe type of articulation. They bend at the knee, single joint. It has a boot cut here, so it can rotate. Very nice leather detail here. Yeah, on both, they're very well detailed. The feet move up and down, and they have an ankle swivel. A great way to update this buck. Now I know there has been some controversy about the calves on this uh, particular guy, so I went ahead and disassembled them. As you can see, they're correctly marked, they're correctly assembled. I wanted to make sure that they were not switched because it has happened before. You can rest assured, they're correctly assembled, they just look weird. For accessories, he comes with this weird club which is greatly detailed. Look at that, he has some dark washes and there's a nail here and he has some metallic ring around it. You can see the detail on the wood is phenomenal. It feels as if it's, if it's really wood and this is gonna really open your skull. <laughs> and unlike the filmation figures, this guy holds the club pretty well, yeah. He also comes with two extra hands. These hands are exactly the same as the ones that he comes with. They do not contribute to, you know, to enhance the figure at all. You just pull them out. Yeah, there you go. Nothing new. He also comes with this gigantic axe. Which uh, many of you will know that this is actually, this is supposed to be for a freaking slide. This is not supposed to come with him. Uh, this is kind of like a teaser maybe? Uh, thanks for the blue balls Mattel, really. Uh, we're not gonna have any slide figure by Mattel. But you can tell it's a very well designed and detailed weapon. The effect given here is like a brush steel. It's very, this is done with a dry brush. You see here all the nice wooden detail. The washes on the wood. I mean, I wish we had the whole line, but yeah, this is as far. This is the, this is the only mutant we're gonna get. Bastards! Jackalman is a pretty solid entry in the Thundercats Classics lineup. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get any more of these guys uh, unless Super Seven gets the license, which we are all praying for. But I absolutely recommend this updated Jackalman. Man, it's 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 a masterclass on its own. Add it to your freaking evil guys from, from Masters of Universe, it's a very fun figure, it's very well done, I highly recommend it, I 
have any, I don't have any complaints. The only complaint, if you could say, is the hands. It comes with two extra hands, which are exactly the same as the ones I have. But if, if that can be called a complaint. Thanks for watching my review, guys. This is Sunday and I signing out. Wasn't that fun? Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit the Toy and Pop Culture feed for the latest toy news. Thank you. Impressive. Impressive.